Hello everyone, welcome to Engineering Mechanics Statics. In today's video, we are going to see transverse and azimuth angles in a 3D Cartesian vector. In the previous video, in the 3D Cartesian vector, we have seen coordinate direction angles. So, in today's video, we are going to see um, a vector in a space and express it using transverse and azimuth angles. Well, um, we have a vector A in space. A can be specified using two angles, namely a transverse angle theta and an azimuth angle phi. So, uh, this is vector A, the projected line of vector A in X y plane is a prime so the angle between the positive x axis and the projected vector of a which is a prime is theta this angle is transverse angle so the angle between the positive z axis and vector a is phi so sometimes vector can be express it in this way so you, it is up to us to identify the problem whether it is given in transverse and azimuth angles or it is in coordinate direction angles so you think trigonometry and um, a z or a sub d is equal to a cos phi because phi is adjacent to vector a sub z. Furthermore, a prime is equal to a sine phi because this is, let me show you, this one, this one is a prime, a prime. So, um, sine phi is equal to opposite over adjacent adjacent is a so a prime is equal to a sine phi applying trigonometry to to the dark blue right triangle to this one a sub x which means this one is equal to a prime cos theta because cos theta is adjacent to a x and opposite to a y Remember, this is, let me make it straight. This one is a y. A y. So, a y is equal to a prime sine theta. Therefore, because a prime is equal to a sine phi, substituting the value to this formula, a sub x is equal to a sine phi cos theta and a y is equal to a sine phi sine theta. Finally, vector a in space, if, it, if the problem is given in transverse and azimuth angle, we can express a in a Cartesian vector as a is equal to a sine phi cos theta i plus a sine phi cos theta j plus a cos phi k. 